Okay, Frank, let's start the engines. This is Air Force 2367. Taxi clearance, please. With its eight jet engines, the wing is one of the most powerful planes in the air. Ground handling and taxiing are identical to that of any other large airplane having a steerable nose wheel. This ease of handling simplifies parking and storage operations. Notice that the pilot of the flying wing has excellent forward, downward, and round-the-clock vision, which minimizes taxiing hazards. almost a pleasure. Because of the pressurized cabin and temperature control, grueling hours of long-range flying can be accomplished with a minimum of pilot fatigue, even at altitudes above 40,000 feet. As pilots know, the flying wing is an easy plane to handle. When a rudder pedal is depressed, drag is induced by the opening of the split rudders, and the plane is pulled in that direction. and 
powerful weapon, a plane that can hold its own against enemy fighters. The wing has a small frontal area and profile, making it difficult to hit or to detect with radar. With its relatively low wing loading and high speed, the wing is capable of defensive or offensive maneuvers that would stall out most fighters, particularly at high altitudes, where the rarefied air places limitations on airplanes with high wing loading. Imagine you're an attacking pilot. Not much to hit in this slim, clean line, is there? Especially if it's going away at more than 500 miles an hour. Should one or more engines be knocked out, the wing is still a formidable fighting machine. It can be effectively maneuvered by making a slight adjustment in trim. Even with all the engines on one side inoperative, it has good performance, flies easily and efficiently. As a bomber, a long-range high payload cargo carrier, or a giant passenger transport, the sleek, knife-edged flying wing has as its keynote efficiency. Efficiency of design, efficiency of structure, efficiency of maintenance, and operation. It is the most useful and efficient airplane the world has yet seen.